Hi, I'm Bobby, but most Razorback fans know me as Hog Noxious. At the baseball games, I'm often asked, how is it that I get seats right in front of the dugout? Well, I get here early. In fact, I'm here right now. Where are you guys at? The pig idea is here! Where are you guys at? Why aren't you here? Most home games start right here at the Hog Bus. There are many Razorback tailgating vehicles, but only one was built specifically for grilling at beautiful Bomb Stadium. We are generally perched at the east end of a 210-foot buffet line along Bomb Drive just off Razorback Road. No matter the outcome of the game, there just never has been a completely bad day at the ballpark. If the Hogs are going to do something significant with the 2009 season, it will happen at home. The schedule for 2008 left a little to be desired, but it pays off this year with big names for big games. The non-conference portion features midweek series against powerful Arizona State and Nebraska, weekends with California and Washington State, and dates with Oklahoma, Kansas, ORU, Missouri State, and Valparaiso. The conference series brings LSU, Florida, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, and Vanderbilt to Fayetteville. So, what do you think about the Rebels and Tigers coming to town? Foul and disgusting fools, vile and ignorant waste of human flesh. I'm embarrassed to be in the same species as these drooling halfwits. These fiendish, depraved, contemptible, sniveling cowards would watch the test patterns constantly on TV if the other inmates would let them. God created houseflies, cockroaches, maggots, mosquitoes, flies, ticks, slugs, leeches, and intestinal parasites, and then he lowered his standards and made these cross-eyed inbred weasels. Bring them on! I'm not saying road series at South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Auburn, and Tennessee will be easy, but if the Razorbacks can keep from losing those home series, they will be good enough to hold serve on the road. Already named by SE Baseball as the toughest schedule in the SEC, and therefore one of the toughest in the country, the record come postseason seeding time should help out the Hogs with their selection on the road to Omaha. Who'll get us there? Well, first of all, a coaching staff that begins with Dave Van Horn. The perfect selection to succeed Norm DeBryan, Van Horn has elevated expectations and expanded facilities. The assistants stay intact with Todd Butler handling the hitters and Dave Jorn handling the hurdlers. Chase Levitt returns in the outfield and should lead off at the plate. Brett Eibner returns to patrol the vast expanse in center field. Ben Shepikaw is our senior second baseman and will bat high in the lineup. And Andy Wilkins should be the starter at first base coming off a tremendous freshman year. I think senior Ryan Cisterna will return at catcher and suspect we'll see better hitting from him. Jacob House, who hit the walk-off Grand Slam against South Carolina as a freshman, and senior Andrew Darr should find spots and fill and provide needed depth. At shortstop, we have Scott Lyons returning for defensive experience, but he will have to battle redshirt freshman Tim Carver for that spot. With Logan Forsythe gone, Someone will have to step up at the hot corner in 2009 for the Razorbacks. Much heralded freshman Zach Cox from Louisville, Kentucky will probably be that man at third. Zach was 19th best high school player in the country according to Perfect Game and the 24th best according to Baseball America who ranked him as the third best high school power hitter in the draft. Seems like we should get enough firepower from those bats to give us a chance to win, don't you think? What we need is some pitching. Dallas Keuchel returns for his junior year after spending the summer pitching in the Cape Cod League. He had a good summer 
and made the all-star team. This is our best plan for a Friday night starter. Mike Bolsinger returns for his junior year, his second with the Hogs. He pitched in the Texas Collegiate League over the summer and was the TCL Pitcher of the Year. Steven Richards also returns for his junior year. Richards spent much of the 2008 season as a closer for the Razorbacks, a role that the Hogs need to have a dependable go-to guy. Justin Wells will be a senior in 2009. He started seven games last year and threw 77 and a third innings, second most on the team. Scott Limbacher, Drew Smiley, and Sam Murphy also returned, and we have three promising freshmen and four junior college transfers to contribute on the mound. If these guys can hold up their end of the bargain, I don't see any way for us not to be playing in postseason. What can mess that up? Well, injuries or suspensions. Now much of that is luck, and the professed depth will have to come through if we need them. Suspensions? Suspensions for what? To quote Charlie from hognation.net, Anybody that watched the Hogs last year saw enough base running mistakes to last a lifetime. Having talent and speed on the base paths is important, but so is knowing how and when to use it. Where are you guys at? The main thing we need is you. The dugouts are getting fresh paint and the RBI girls just add to the best atmosphere in college baseball. If the fans can continue to do their part, to make Mom Stadium an intimidating force for the home team, we ought to host a regional. Don't you think? Oh, oh! I'll see you at the ballpark. In the meantime, you can catch my podcast three times a week by going to the Pig Idea website. Or you can email me, bobby at thepigidea.com. I'd love to hear from you, and you know you're going to be hearing from me. Go Hawks!